Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Hara Saka. And I'm Luis Gallegos. Today is Friday, October 4th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Before we start, let's see how the girls' tennis match went. If you want to try out for boys soccer or our returner there, there is a meeting on Tuesday, October 8th, right after school. We will be meeting in HG5, Mr. Billings' room. Please be prompt. A championship season is upon us. Go Wolfpack! Attention Wolfpack artists, the library invites you to participate in an upcycled book contest. For this contest, artists will transform a book into a work of art. A book will be provided and you can alter the book any way you want to. All entries must be turned in before October 29th. All altered books turned into pieces of art will be displayed in the library in November. Prizes will be awarded to first, second, third, and three uh, honored mentions as well. This contest is open to all CUHS staff and students. See Mrs. Liu and Mrs. Hoblitzel in the library for entry forms and books. Hey Wolfpack, the outlet is coming in January. A place for expression without judgment, put on by the Thespian Society. If you are interested in submitting a piece of writing for the outlet or are just curious to see what, the, what that would entail, we will be giving the opportunity to come to our writing workshops held every other Thursday in the theater room HE5 from 315 to 4. We want your voice to be heard. Attention freshmen, need some additional support studying for finals? Your link leaders are here to help. Link will be hosting a cram with a pack session after school Wednesday, October 9th from 3.30 to 5 in HO3. Come get help in math one and two, Spanish and any other subject you are struggling with, and snacks will be provided. We are starting the process of selecting students who will be participating in the Osaka Exchange Program for the 20, 2019 to 2020 school year. If you are or were in Japanese class or in, and are interested in going to participate, please contact Ms. Tanaka or visit her room at HM5. The due date for the application is October 18th. BSU will be making vision boards on Wednesday, October 9th. If you are interested in creating your own vision board, join us during both lunches in HP10. BSU strives to create a culturally diverse, inclusive, and brave space to build and foster student unity. All students are welcome and encouraged to come. A pre-representative from UCLA has been scheduled to visit CO this coming Monday, October 7th. She will be here at 2.30. If you are interested in learning more about UCLA's campus and administration program, Please sign up in the Career Center and pass, pick up your pass. Now let's pass on over to Kaylee and Irene for POP. What's POP, Hi, Wolfpack? I'm Kaylee Yosef. And I'm Irene Milanes. And this is POP, where we pop in and show you posts of the past. Remember to use the hashtag CUHSWPTV to be featured on our next segment. Now let's check out our post of the week. Our first post is from our Yes and Squad. You guys had an outstanding performance. Our next post is from Jazzy. Y'all did great at the game. We also have a post from our Powderpuff Cheer. We were obsessed with your performance. And our last post is from Layla. Great job at the first Carter concert of the year. Before we go, let's check out our Wolf of the Week, Angie Mangeli. Hey guys, I'm Angie and I'm your Wolf of the Week. Oh, I never thought I would be able to do that. <laughs> I am a rally director, as you probably know. I'm in Link Crew, NHS, and I am co-editor-in-chief of This Year's Yearbook, so buy your yearbooks. I love Indian pasta with my friends. I just got two new puppies, so I play with them all the time, and I watch Bachelorette with my family all the time. To go to college, to be a nurse, hopefully. I've always wanted to be a nurse. I'm interested in SoCal schools like Fullerton, but you know, I'm not smart enough to get into that. 
to have fun and make memories that I can cherish forever when I finally graduate and leave. Yeah. <laughs> this year, our first rally that I was a part of, I've always wanted to be a rally director since I was a freshman, so finally uh, being able to go and just be there and do it just really was amazing. Make new friends because sometimes the old ones will leave you. Um, join clubs and have fun and buy your yearbooks. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Hope you have an amazing rest of your senior year. Well, that's all we've got for you this week, Wolfpack. I'm Irene Milanes. And I'm Kaylee Yota. See you all next, next term. term. Thanks, Kaylee and Irene. The FAFSA is now open. Whether or not you think you are eligible for aid, you should complete this. The FAFSA is required to get your two years free at community college and will help the cost of a four-year college. Before we go, here's our Hispanic Heritage Fun Fact. Hi, I'm Olivia and I'm going to be talking about Selena. Selena was known as Lorena, the Tex Mex, or the queen of Tejano music. Her music was a fusion of traditional Tejano with cumbia. Although she famously sang in Spanish, at the debut of her career, she did not speak the language. She was also a third generation Mexican American. She was famously known for helping Mexican Americans feel like they belong up until her death in 1995. However, her image still inspires many. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Harisaka. I'm Luis Gallegos. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have, have a, a flourishing, flourishing Friday, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.